Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to this uh, Bible study. Uh, this is pre-recorded. Uh, this is recorded on Monday. I know I look different because, you know, a shower. But, um, yeah, so there will be a lot of videos uploaded today uh, because my dad goes back to work on Thursday, so I don't want to wait that long. So I'll be pumping out videos a lot today. But this is the Bible study um, for this week, most likely. We'll find out. But um, let's bow, bow our heads and pray, and we will get right into it. Oh, Heavenly Father, we come to you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And we ask you, and we pray, to be with us in these last days. And Lord, I pray for any unbeliever that might see these uh, sermons or studies, that they might hear your voice, and that they might come to your name, and worship you in the Father, and that they shall be with you in eternity, in your kingdom. Lord, I pray for the message in which I am about to speak. I pray it's your message and not mine. If it is my message, Lord, then please have it fade away. But if it's your message, let your message have the impact and the glory. Forever and ever. In your Son's precious name, Father, we pray. So let's get uh, straight into it. Um... It's focusing on one verse. The it's linked down below. It's it's a long one. It's Revelation 18. I think this is fitting because you know of the riots that are currently going on that are circling not just America. Okay, it's actually all, all around the earth. England is rioting. Almost every place is rioting. Yeah, almost. So, this should tell you a lot on the direction in which we're heading. But, um, so, what is Babylon? Okay, now, let's talk about this. Who is Babylon? Some say it's the Roman Catholic Church. Some say it's America. And the reason why some people say it's the Roman Catholic Church is because in one of the uh, verses it talks about Babylon, it says that she is dressed in scarlet and velvet. Well, the only, um... Religion, or well, belief, that addresses like that is the Roman Catholic Church. So, uh, I'm not disputing that factor. But I also think America could be Babylon, too, because of uh, what Revelation 18 says. And I truly do think that America is Babylon. Um, I mean, <laughs> let's... I I'll read... Uh, Verse 18. We will make our way down. So, the fall of Babylon the Great. Revelation 18. Verse 18. After these things, I saw another angel coming down from heaven, having great authority, and then the earth was illuminated with his glory. And he cried, Mighty, with a loud voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become a dwelling place of demons, a prison for every foul spirit, a cage for every unclean and hated bird. For all the nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and that the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the, and the merchants of the earth have become rich through the abundance of her luxury. So, there's more, obviously, but so what that is saying is that uh, nations, people, merchants, salesmen, and such have became wealthy because of her. They have made several deals with her. Well, her, it's not talking about a prostitute here. It's talking about a nation, a country, um, that is very rich, and they have a lot of luxuries. Um and there's only two places, perhaps, that uh, might have that. One, you have America, and two, you have the Roman Catholic Church. Now, the reason why I only list those two is because it, when you look at them, when you look at the abundance of the wealth both of them have, it is significantly higher than any nation on Earth. Uh, America just keeps on fighting out cash, uh, irrelevant the amount of debt we're in. The Roman Catholic Church has a gold, silver, silver, all the old relics, so they're, they're, they're probably more richer than America, actually. 
So, what is this verse talking about? It's talking about, I believe, could be America. Because it's saying um, of her luxuries and such. And I think, I think it's talking about America. Could there be two Babylons? I don't know. But I think it's talking about America here. Because right, if you look uh, at what's currently encompassing not just America, man, I remind you, it's it's a lot of places outside of America. Um, a lot of rioting, a lot of lawlessness, a lot of hatred, a lot of uh, fornication, a lot of um, adultery, a lot of hatred, a lot of murder. So I think it is talking about America. I'm not too sure, but basing on what's currently happening, I'm going to take a risk and say it's probably talking about America. So what it's saying is that uh, all the nations of the earth have made deals with her, fornicated with her. Uh, fornication means to cheat on one's spouse. Uh, also, I believe to have sex, like premarital sex. Um, and then that falls under adultery as well. So adultery is when you look at lust. Uh, but yeah, so fornication, adultery... Uh, every foul spirit, every unclean, hated bird, um, what that is saying is um, that the people within the nation is just foul. It's uh, not everyone, obviously, but a lot of them are. The next verse, verse 4, says, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, lest you share in her sins and lest you receive of her plagues for her sins have reached to heaven in God and has remembered her iniquities render to her just as she rendered to you and repay her double according to her works in the cup which she has mixed mixed double for her in the measure that she glorified herself and lived luxuriously in the same measure give her torment and sorrow but she says in her heart, I sit as queen and am no widow and will not see sorrow. Therefore, her plagues will come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she will be utterly burnt with fire. For strong is the Lord God who judges her. So what that is saying is that the... Hold up. So what that is saying is that... This nation, whether it's the Roman Catholic Church, whether it's America, I'm not going to argue that factor in this study. Um, that the wrongs that she has done, the the um, the foul, abominable, blasphemous, uh, heretic, um, lustful, adultery, fornication, murder. Uh, all of these things that she has committed and widow, what does widow mean? Well, widow means to be married to someone who has passed on. Um, someone in my family is a widow. I won't say who. Um, so what that is saying, and the reason why I said that is for this next uh, follow-up and, and the example is this, that America has many allies, right? It's almost, almost every nation on earth. So, no widow means that she will still have these allies, that she will do everything she can not to lose these allies in her favor so that she can have power. Well, I'm not, again, when I say she or her, I'm not talking about a woman, a prostitute. I'm talking about America. America has so many allies that it is indisputable that America is the most powerful country on the face of the, of the earth. And that's not me being patriotic at all. That's just a simple fact. So what it's saying is not to be a widow, or she doesn't want to be a widow, means for the nations in which that support, support her to be cut off, uh, in which won't support her. Now, again, the New World Order exists. They do control things as term, if God allows it. Okay, They know that. If, if God allows it, they can do it. But why would God allow these riots? Because it has to happen. It has to happen. See, in, in Israel right now... Uh, the Israeli officials in the Saudis are discussing on the Temple Mount, on them, on the on the Israelis buying the Temple Mount so they can build a third temple. 
that is a very significant thing that's happening in in Israel. Don't forget, a few months ago, they they think that they might have found the Messiah, and they might think on on who he is. They think I don't know. Now there's only one one true Messiah, and he came two thousand years ago in the form of a man called Jesus Christ or Jesus Jesus of Nazareth, Yahushua Hamash, uh, Hamashiach, Yahushua. Um, so. That's the true Messiah. But the Messiah they will worship, we know, is the false Messiah. It's the Antichrist. So what this is saying is that, like I said, the Lord God will judge her. And I really think it's talking about America because, well, I mean, it could talk about the Roman Catholic Church as well. So, I don't know. I, I, okay, this is a very debatable topic. However, judging and reading it, I think it could be America. But that is what that is essentially saying. So, let's move to the uh, next next verse. Sorry, I almost bit my tongue. Well, I bit my tongue. The Lord mourns Babylon's fall. Now, listen carefully. Verse 9, the kings of the earth who committed fornication and lived luxuriously with her will weep and lament for her when they see the smoke of her burning, standing at a distance for fear of her torment, saying, Alice, Alice, that great city of Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour your judgment has come. So what is this saying? I'll, I'll read it again. This is very significant. The kings of the earth who committed fornication and lived luxuriously with her will weep and lament for her when they see the smoke of her burning, standing at a distance for fear of her torment, saying, Alice, Alice, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour your judgment has come. Let's, let's, let's dissect that and let's just see what it's saying, shall we? The kings of the earth who committed fornication and lived luxuriously with her. Now, I think what that is saying is, is the king. So, the people who have profited off of, perhaps, America, uh, who have probably bought many prostitutes, you know, a lot of hookers, and lived luxuriously, such as cars, gold, big houses, and they will weep once her fall. And, uh, <laughs> and will lament, I mean, will weep and lament for her when they see the smoke of her burning. What are we seeing right now? America is on fire, baby. She is burning! And the reason why I said that, keep a, you know, a ear out. What is that saying? I mean, come on now. It's saying that she will be judged harshly, actually, and that the people who profited off of her will weep because they can't profit off of her no more. Now, obviously, it's not talking about the New World Order because the New World Order is the one that's crashing America. So they can have this New World Order, Luciferian, Draconian, totalitarian, antichrist kingdom. Um, however... The people who have profited off of her, such as perhaps bankers, celebrities, people who have committed fornication with her. So that's probably because that's that's probably talking about hookers and prostitutes. Just saying. So if, if you're under the age of 18, I would suggest you to not watch this video because it's it's going to be very graphic, not in a bad sense. But uh, just if, if you have any kids, you might not want to let them, you know, hear this particular video because of, you know, the hookers and the prostitutes, but, but that is what that is saying. In, for, in one hour, your judgment has come. Now, people are saying that the New World Order is behind this, and I think so too, but think, think about it like this, okay? God is in control, okay? Um, don't be like Monty Graff, who said that um, 
God is not on our side. Or, and if he was, this, <laughs> this wouldn't be happening. No, he's allowing it to happen. Because, you know, if you opened up your Bible, you will see right there in Revelation 18 that these things have to come to pass. These things have to happen in which, because why? It's, it's the end of days. That's why it has to happen. I, do you think people like me want this to happen? Now, in a certain way, I do want this to happen in, in, in a certain regard because people have left Christ. People have left God and just ab abandoned him. And they and they pursued it after, after their own lust, their own fornication, their own desires, their own wants. They don't want to pursue the spirit. They want to pursue the flesh. So, in a way, I want this to happen in the sense of being a wake-up call. But as to the um, the severity of what's happening now and people being killed no but it has to happen it has to happen i and i can't argue against that it has to happen why well look out your window look how people betray one another i mean look at the homosexual movement look at 9 11 look at all of these things done in the name of what satan just saying don't believe me Look at history, and then tell me otherwise. Look at all the mystery religions of Babylon. The only one that does not originate from the mystery religions of Babylon is Judaism and Christianity. Those are the only two beliefs and faiths on the face of the earth that does not originate from ancient Babylon. Why? Because, well, Judaism was at the time the only way to, well, to inherit heaven. Now it's Christianity. So those are the only two uh, beliefs that were not corrupted. Well, okay, that did not originate from ancient Babylon. Jude Judaism got corrupted because of the pagans. But so yeah, that's what that is saying, is that um, those who have profited off of her will weep and mourn. And notice how it says when they see smoke of her burning. What's happening to America right now? America is burning. She, she's on fire. In a bad way. She's she's on fire and she's burning. And America, by the, uh, by the end of 2020, will not be America no more, I guarantee you. And I'll be making a playlist of that. Uh, in case if it does come true, I can at least have a video that I can show to my family members to wake them up. But, <clears throat> so, that is what that is saying. Now, re let's read the other one. <coughs> Verse 11. Uh, or I'm, I'm about to yawn. Yawning at the worst times, man. And the merchants of the earth will weep and mourn over her. For no one buys the merchandise anymore. Merchandise of gold and silver, precious stones and Pearls, fine linen and purple silk and scarlet, uh, and scarlet, every kind of citron wood, every kind of object of ivory, every kind of object of uh, of most precious wood, bronze, iron, and marble, and cinnamon and incense, uh, fragrant oil, f uh, frankincense, wine, and oil. I'm sorry, the mowing outside. Fine flour and wheat, cattle and sheep, horses and chariots and bodies, and souls of men. Uh, the food that your soul longed for has gone from you, and all of the things which are rich and splendid have gone from you. And you sh and yeah, and you shall find them no more at all. The merchandise, uh, the merchants of these things who became rich by her will stand at a distance for fear of her torment, weeping and wailing, and saying, Alice, Alice, the great city that was clothed in fine linen, purple and scarlet, and adored with gold and precious stones and pearls. But in one hour, such great riches came to nothing. Every shipmaster 
all who all who travel by ships, sailors, and as many as trade on the sea, stood at a distance and cried out when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What is like this great city? They threw dust on their heads and cried out, weeping and wailing, and saying, Alice, Alice, the great city in which all who had ships on the sea became rich by her wealth, for in one hour she has made desolate. Rejoice over her, O heaven, and you holy apostles and prophets, for God has avenged you on her. So in summary, what, what that is saying is that God will cast judgment on to Babylon. And but he will shout to his people from the judgment. So all you pre-tribulation rapture people, throw that out of the garbage. It says it right there. God will protect his people from her. And God will avenge them. So is God doing this? Well, yeah, probably. But he also allowed it to happen. Why? We're, we're reading it right now. We're learning why he's allowing these riots and the downfall of America. Because it has to happen. We are at the time where it's, it's, we're done playing jokes. We're done laughing. And right now it's serious. It is serious. Because, to go guess what? As we read in Revelation 20 verse 4, we will be beheaded here soon. So that, uh, Big verse or verses comprised into one ish. Um, was saying that God will cast judgment onto her because of her abominable things, her fornication, and he will shout to his people from her, and he will avenge them by casting judgments onto her or the or the city. That is what that is saying. And it's happening now. Look who's rioting. No true Christian. They're not out there rioting. They might be filming it, sure, but they're not rioting. Why? Well, because they know. They know to not participate in this violence crap. Why? Because, well, one, it's wrong. But two, love is the only way. See, if people knew what was happening, well, newsflash, people wouldn't be in the, sh in the streets rioting. They would be taking the New World Order down and actually executing them. But they're not doing that. If people stop rioting, well, guess what? America could probably surpass to see another year. But that's not going to happen. Why? Because it's time for judgment. It is about to enter to Jacob's trouble. The 70th week. That's why. So don't be afraid. These things have to come to pass. And these things have to happen. The last one. Finality of Babylon's fall. Then a mighty angel took up a stone, like a great millstone, and threw it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence the great city Babylon shall be thrown down, and shall not be found any more. The sound of of hop, of hoptists, musicians, flutists, and trumpeters shall not be heard in you anymore. Wait, yep. No craftsman or any craft shall be found in you anymore. And the sound of a millstone shall not be heard in you anymore. The light, oh, excuse me, the light of a lamp shall not shine in you anymore. The voice of, yeah, well, I'm sorry. In the, in the voice of bridegroom and bride shall not be heard in you anymore. For your merchants were great men of the earth. For by your sorcery all the nations were deceived. And in her was found the blood of prophets and saints. And all who were slain on earth, on the earth. So let's sum that up. It's saying that... The judgment that is being casted upon America right now will be so severe that that the people within it will kill the prophets, will kill the the believers. It's talking about us, the believers. They and that's why it says, 
and in her was found the blood of prophets and saints and, and of all who were slain on earth. Because the judgment will be on the people, but the people will look at us and kill us. And that's that's what's going to happen. So what this is saying is that the judgments that will be casted upon America will be so severe that she will become desolate and she will be no more. And that the blood of the believers and the prophets will be found on her hands. In her hand shall be cut off, and she shall be no more. The sorcery part, well, magic. Satanism, sorcery. The summoning of spirits. The communication of demons. That's something that you don't want to toy with. I'm just saying. So that is what that is saying. But don't forget this. The New World Order, they know God. They know Jesus. But they reject them. Why? Because, well, guess what? They want the things of the flesh, not of the spirit. And this is what we get when, uh, when people don't want to listen to God. If Adam and Eve would have just listened, we wouldn't be in this predicament right now. But we are. So we have to deal with it. But meanwhile, we have to praise the Lord. Worship him. Until death. When we, where we shall forever be with the Lord Jesus Christ. That is what we need to do right now. Should you bug out? Well, honestly, if I had, the, again, months ago, if I had the money, I would have left to feed you. Of the COVID thing. But feed you right now sounds pretty nice. I won't lie. It sounds pretty nice because uh, none of this stuff is happening there. It, it's a remote place. And really nothing significant will happen there. It's an island of no significance with no resources. It's a tourist attraction. So it sounds like the perfect place, and you can be on your own little private island. So uh, that's where I was planning on flying to. But, uh, you know, no money. So all I'm going to say is this. Babylon will fall. She's falling right now. She's on fire. And she will be desolate. America is on fire. And she will, she will be eradicated. But then a new order will emerge. As to where the Antichrist plays into this, one can argue that he's, he's about to rise right now. One, one can argue, well, America has to fall first. One can argue this. One can argue that. It's like, today, I mean, right now is not the time of arguing. Right now is the time of fellowship. Right now is the time of praise with the Lord. Right now is the time to praise the Lord and to read his word and fast and pray and worship him. That is what the time is. Not to argue dogmatic, conspiratorial bullcrap that's irrelevant. What we need to do is praise the Lord right now until we die. That is what we need to do. And if you don't agree with me on that, then you might want to look in the mirror and you, and you might want to ask, Oh, am I a Christian? Because if you don't agree with that, then what do you uh, agree with? What? Going out and riding or over a... A situation that was instigated and propagated by them to bring down America, as it says in, Re in Revelation 18, that God will cast his judgments onto America, and for most likely the Catholic Church too. So don't act like they're all innocent, because they're not innocent. So what do we do? Well, like I said, worship the Lord, praise him. That is what we do. That, that's the only thing we can do. Right now is not the time to jokes anymore. Right now is not the time of arguing about, oh, 9-11, Sandy Hook, this or that. Just saying, because here soon things will get really bad. Mon Monty Graf is saying that uh, by June 15th, there, there might be a virus that might take down all the computer systems. Uh, and remember what, we, remember what we've been telling you. For this to happen, they need to take down the computer systems, or the Wi-Fi, the internet, the power grid, so no one knows what's actually going on. And that, and don't forget, that's 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 most likely going to happen too. Whether if it will happen on June fifteenth, and ah, beats me. But don't be surprised. Don't don't be caught off guard. These things have to happen. The Great Tribulation period is, uh, I believe, we're about to enter. 
spike any day now. If, if we're not already even in it. Call on the name of the Lord and you shall be saved. Let's bow our heads and pray. Uh, bow our heads and pray, my brothers and sisters. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this fellowship. We thank you for this message. We want to thank you for all what you have done for us. And we want to uh, celebrate you. We want to know you. We want to talk to you, pray to you, um, worship you, read your word, have conversations with you. We want to be with you, Lord. We want to be with you in your kingdom. Uh, we don't want to be a part of this world no more. We don't. If we have to die, then that is what that is what must happen. But we will die in your name, but we shall be with you in your kingdom. Lord, I personally do pray that this was your message and not mine. For in your son's precious name, Father, we pray. I want to thank you for attending this Bible study. Um, yeah, it sucks. I know it sucks, but it has to happen. So it is what it is, but but we'll see each other in paradise and then eventually happen. So, hopefully I'll see you guys on, on the next one. And if I don't, well, you know where, you, where you'll see me at. So, until then, Shabbat Shalom. And may, the, and may the grace of the Lord be with all his people. God bless.